So in this question, we need to compute a critical T value. It's really similar to a Z value. It's basically how many standard deviations are you away from the mean, but it's off of a sample. And so we can't use the Z uh, computation, the norm inverse. We have to use the T inverse. And this is whenever you're trying to take information from a sample um, and then extrapolate it to the population. So here's an image of what the distribution uh, would look like. We don't know the actual average of the population. We only know the mean or the average of our sample. And on this, we want 90% confidence. Now, in Excel, you use the confidence, not the alpha. And we want this to have 90% in this area here in the middle, which means there's 10% not included. But in the computations, you need to just get half of the not included area. So where I'm clicking here to the left of that, so if my problem is 90%, and so to the left of that is actually 95% because there's 5% missing here and 5% missing here. And when you're using Excel, all you have to do is take your confidence percentage and average it with 100% or just take it halfway to 100. I'm gonna do it as a proportion here. And where are we? Here we are. All right, so my confidence is gonna be 0.9, but I take this halfway to 100, or halfway to one, and what I'm going to do is average this number and 1. And that takes it to halfway to 1. So normally I had 10% missing, but I only want to cut the missing part in half. So I take it halfway to 1. So right here. Uh, if you wanted to use alpha, this will correspond to... Uh, 0 0.05 alpha, it's the complement of this, but Excel doesn't use alpha, it uses the confidence amount. All right, we need to use the T inverse function here. So it's T dot inv. Use the first one, do not use the one with two tails. Use the first one right here, and you can double click that. Probability, that's the uh, number right here. Remember, it's not 0.9 if you take it halfway to 1. And then degrees of freedom, my sample size is 25. So my degrees of freedom is not 25, it's 1 less. Degrees of freedom is 1 less than sample size. And again, right up here, I have the n minus 1 right there. Just to remind you, you need to take 1 less than that. So this t value right here is what I need to enter and submit. All right, this question is really important because you need to compute this T value on every question in 8.2. So you have to be able to get the first few questions right in order to move on and get the other ones correct later.